this course, we will discuss a trustee's failure to treat beneficiaries fairly, especially where the trustee is also a trust beneficiary. We start with a basic understanding of the trust law that applies to this problem. The trustee has a duty to administer the trust solely in the interest of the beneficiaries. Under California Probate Code, Section 16003, if a trust has two or more beneficiaries, the trustee has a duty to deal impartially with them. Let's consider a hypothetical situation to demonstrate the problems that arise and the options you have when confronted with a California trustee who fails to treat you fairly as a trust beneficiary. After the hypothetical, we will discuss trust diversification in more detail. In 1995, Juanita and Rodolfo created a revocable living trust and transferred their home, a rental property, and their financial accounts into the trust. Juanita and Rodolfo have four children who are named as equal beneficiaries under the trust. In 2001, Rodolfo had a severe stroke. Juanita could not care for Rodolfo alone, so their daughter Lupe moved into their home to help care for her father. Rodolfo died in 2004. Lupe continued to live in the family home rent-free with Juanita until Juanita's death in 2012. Lupe took care of her mother during the last several years of Juanita's life as Juanita's health slowly failed. Upon Juanita's death, the total estate was worth 1.25 million. The family home was worth $250,000, the rental property was worth $200,000, and the financial accounts had $800,000 worth of cash, stocks, and bonds. After Juanita died, her son Miguel took over as sole trustee of the trust. The four equal beneficiaries of the trust are Miguel and Lupe, along with their two brothers, Carlos and Damien. Miguel was not happy that Lupe was allowed to live in the family home for so long without paying rent. He believed that Lupe should have to pay back rent to the trust. Lupe, however, has no job because she has been a full-time caregiver to her parents for many years. Lupe would like to keep the family home and continue living there. Lupe argues that her share of the trust's estate, after all trust expenses are paid, is worth at least $300,000. So she should be able to keep the family home worth $250,000 as part of her trust distribution. While the trustee could distribute the home to Lupe, Miguel refuses to do so because he also would like to keep the home and live in it himself. Miguel immediately starts eviction proceedings against Lupe to force her to move from the home. Lupe tells Miguel that she she would need a cash distribution from the trust to at least rent a new place to move out. Miguel refuses to distribute any cash to Lupe until Lupe agrees to let Miguel have the house. Lupe then offers to move into the rental property if Miguel will distribute that house to her as part of her trust share. Miguel refuses to do so because the rental home is under a long-term lease with the existing tenant and Miguel wants to keep the rental to produce income for the indefinite future. Currently, there is enough cash on hand to pay Carlos and Damien their share of the trust estate in cash. Carlos and Damien demand a cash distribution immediately. They believe that the fight over the real properties is none of their concern and they should not have to wait to get paid just because Lupe and Miguel cannot get along. It appears that Miguel is not treating the trust beneficiaries impartially. Miguel is refusing to separate his fiduciary duties as trustee from his personal desire to retain the trust real estate. What can Lupe do to obtain her fair share of the trust estate and prevent Miguel from demanding back rent from her? Here are the options. Option number one, petition for instructions. File a petition for instructions asking the court to order a distribution of the home to Lupe. Option number two, petition for accounting. File a petition asking the court to order Miguel to prepare and file a trust accounting. Option number three, petition for removal. File a petition to remove Miguel as trustee. Option number four, petition for damages. File a petition for breach of trust seeking damages against Miguel. Option number five, petition to sell real estate. File a petition for instructions asking the court to order the trustee to sell all trust assets and distribute the cash to the beneficiaries equally.